What's up guys? It's me, The Wise Matthew, and today I have some teas for you guys. Uh, the previous video I was talking about some tea I was drinking, and um, that was actually that right there, but I'll get to that in a second. So, a lot of you guys were interested in teas, and I know a couple years ago I knew absolutely nothing about tea, um, besides iced tea that my uh, parents would drink every once in a while. Um, so I thought this would be a good opportunity to maybe introduce some of you guys to tea a little bit more, and... Um, you know, if you guys try it eventually down the road, that would be really great because it's it's worth getting into, and the health benefits for it are really amazing, and uh, it really uh, there's no um, there's no equal um, in a beverage for health benefits. Um, so right now, these are just the simple things I have. I have my green teas, my boxed tea bags, green teas. This is the as easy as you can get. This is the basics that you can get at any grocery store. Uh, my tea mug, any tea mug you do, this is actually a bigger one, this is um, I believe 14 ounces from Tiavana and actually I have a little chip on there, but um, glass I prefer, I would recommend getting glass because it holds heat really well and um, it doesn't stain. So then I have over here on the left, you're probably asking what is that for some of you that don't know, this is just an electric kettle and this all this does is heats up the water to a certain temperature because there are two things that you have to get right, the water temperature for tea and the timing, so how long you steep your tea. If you don't know what steeping means, that's basically the process in which you place a tea bag in your um, your container and then you pour hot water in there and it's called steeping. So there's a certain amount of time for different teas that you need to steep the teas for. Um, I'll try not to be that confusing guys and uh, hopefully you'll learn a little something here. So let's just start off with um, the basics tea. This is um, by a brand called Bigelow. You guys have probably seen this one. It's very, very popular. It's in any kind of store, not even grocery stores, just pretty much any retail store that sells teas, you're gonna see this. This is just their plain green tea. Um, it's their certified 100% organic. And I wanna stress that you should get organic if you can. It even says USDA up here organic. And um, I believe it's like three or four dollars and you get 40 tea bags. Um, so it'll last you a good while and um, Organic the reason why they want to get that I know you hear everybody say oh go organic or organic and um, if you don't buy into all the hype That's fine, but organic just means that it, it was a natural processing the whole way and they didn't have any pesticides on these plants or anything like that So uh, you're gonna get more health benefits because even if it's not organic You're still gonna get some of those health benefits like the polyphenols and the antioxidants But organic will allow you to get the maximum amount you can get from uh, the tea that's in this box. Um, and again, these are tea bags, so I know for some of you uh, really tea aficionados that uh, this is not high quality stuff, this is very low grade stuff, but even the, the people that are really, really into teas, they will drink this stuff every now and again in a rush, or if they're just lazy and uh, they don't wanna have any more cleanup or anything like that. But really, um, bagged or loose leaf tea or ground tea like matcha, which is um, it's a, it's a Japanese tea that's like really really fine, almost like a powder, and it's super green. Um, all those uh, they're just you know they're the, they come from the same exact plant, and the only difference is the process in which they do it. So the oxidation process um, determines how much caffeine's in them and um, how many antioxidants they have. But they all start out the same, so if that's something that's really confusing, just know that it all comes from the same plant, and it, it, it's just different parts of the world, but it all starts out the same. So that's the basic you can get, and this green tea, the plain one, if you're not into like plain tea, this probably would be one to avoid. You, you probably want something, if you're new to it, you want something with some flavor, uh, because that might kind of deter you if you've ever tried green tea before. Uh, give some like different flavor ones a try, which is on to the next one. These are flavor ones right here. And this is from a brand called Celestial Seasonings, and um, this is the green tea with calming herbs. Um, and this is decaf. It says right here, decaf and lemon jasmine. So decaf um, will have no caffeine, and that's really good. Uh, this tea is really good for before bed, or uh, maybe if you're sick, um, because it does it doesn't make you. Um, it's kind of like chamomile. It makes a very uh, even and level. Uh, metabolism and digestion and um, there's no ups and downs from caffeine um, like you would with coffee especially so this is really good and um, all this is is I'll just open it up here and show you guys it's just a tea bag like this and you guys are probably familiar with tea bags but you usually see the little string on them 
And some of them do have that, um, like a lot of your Tazo brand tees will have that bag and usually be like a pyramid look to actually have, have it right here. Um, this is the Tazo and uh, the, the bag will be a little bit more of a pyramid shape to give it more room for the leaves to uh, exfoliate and uh, you know release a flavor, but that's a different thing. That's not green tea and we're going to get into that some other time. But um, this is pretty good. All you do is take the bag, put it in your uh, mug like this, and then uh, you just heat up your water and then pour it in there and then you, go to, you steep it for, um, I would recommend five minutes for green tea. You can go up to seven. Uh, some people like a little bit more of a bitter taste and just more flavor out of it, so that's fine. Um, but that's as simple as it is. And what's nice about the Celesto seasonings is they have like an adhesive package, so you can just kind of pinch it back and it'll actually hold in more of that, that smell and flavor. And um, usually directions, yeah, directions are right here on the insides of these if you, need, if you ever forget or need to know steeping times or temperature, it's all right there. And um, tea bags are pretty simple. Uh, they're the way to go if you're brand new and you want to try some stuff out. Loose leaf is a good alternative, but they can be more pricey. Um, these are all for about a few dollars and they have quite a bit of bags. These are 20 bags in these smaller boxes. And like I said, this is 40 bags. Um, sorry if I'm rushing guys, but I'm trying to make this a shorter video. Uh, this is the green tea. Uh, honey lemon ginseng white tea and this is what I was drinking the other day in the video the last video and uh, So this is white tea is, is a little bit um, has no uh, very little caffeine usually um, Almost no caffeine for the majority of the time and uh, it's more expensive because it's a it's a, It's a longer tougher process to uh, actually create white tea than this green tea um, It's harvested only I believe I think it's one or two times per year um, because they actually harvest it before the bud of the plant actually opens up. So, a little fun fact, and um, this is uh, this does have caffeine in here, so make sure you watch out. If it doesn't say decaf on it, then it's got caffeine, but it has very little. White tea is uh, has the least amount of caffeine out of all the teas, and then you go up to green tea, and then you know so on and so forth, like rubus, and oolong, and black teas. So, um, uh, yeah, just keep that in mind. But this is a very good one. This is honey lemon. It tastes pretty good. Um, and that, I recommend these flavor ones to get into if you're uh, new to teas. Um, let's see how, many, how much time I have left. Okay, so I got a, a couple minutes left real quick and I'm just going to show you, let's go ahead and uh, brew some tea here. So uh, right here I have an electric kettle and I'll bring this over here so you guys see it a little better. Uh, this is from Quasin Art. Um, I can pay to say this, <laughs> uh, although it would be pretty funny if I was. Um, but it's got, um, I looked around forever to find the least amount of plastic in a kettle because I wanted it to be BPA free. Um, and, um, you know, just when you're heating water, you never can be too safe about what, what kind of plastic is getting in your water. And, you know, I'm just kind of a paranoid guy that way. But uh, the only plastic this has right here is this little uh, water level measure. So it's right here, you can tell how much water's in there. Um, but it's really nice because you can just pick it up and, um, you know, you have all your buttons here. I don't know if you can see this. But that's just your open and then what's nice about this is instead of messing with the stove top kettle and you have to bring a thermometer and check the temperature it has these preset temperatures that you can uh, use so 160 delicate would be white tea just really quick going through these uh, green tea you want to steep at 175 for about five minutes and the lower the temperature the general rule is the lower the temperature the less time you want to steep it for so like your white teas that'd be three to five minutes uh, green teas would be five to seven and then um, uh, like your oolongs and stuff would be higher temperature, so it'd be longer um, anywhere, you know, from I would say five to some people like 10 minutes. Um, and same with your black teas, five to 10 minutes. And uh, there's there's other things that you can get into later with loosely, especially that I'll show you. But um, it's a very nice thing. I've had this for, oh, I'd say probably about a year and a half. I bought it off Amazon. Um, I looked at a bunch of different ones and saw the review. but. Um, supposedly uh, that plastic is BPA free, it kind of lights up too when you put it down. And uh, so let's go ahead and add some water to this. And um, I'm only making a cup for myself here. Uh, I already added a little bit of water, that's why the level's so high. But uh, then we're going to go ahead and press the green and start it. And uh, sometimes I'll just go ahead and boil the water. You can do that too. Um, or you can just do the lower setting. If you boil the water, you want to let it set for about a minute before you even pour it in there because otherwise it's going to be too hot and it's just going to like ruin your tea even if it's bagged. If you do get organic, 
Uh, you're going to avoid um, at least some of the, the bad processing that goes into some of these uh, non-organic um, tea bags with their very, very fine leaves because they've just been chopped up and uh, they're too dry and when you put water in them, they, they don't really exfoliate and get larger and release as much flavor uh, and also the antioxidants and health benefits in general, um, which are, you know, the main reason that people drink teas is for the health benefits. Um, and as you drink more, your palate will change. Uh, just like if you uh, were younger and you, you know, never liked beer. I never liked beer. And then as I got older, I realized that, hey, I really got a taste for this stuff and it tastes pretty good. So your palate changes just as it would with coffees or teas or uh, sometimes even sodas. Some people will change, uh, change their taste in sodas over the years. Um, those diehard uh, Coke fans out there that, that go to Pepsi or vice versa. So um, just take this tea bag and I would just set it down there in the bottom of the mug. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna pour hot water uh, when it's ready into uh, right over the tea bag. And the tea bag is going to puff up, you know, almost uh, like a marshmallow almost and uh, it lets all the hot water in there and the moisture and the steam. And um, some people like to cover their cup. Uh, with these tea bags, I really don't worry about it too much. If I was doing a loose leaf tea, I would cover it. Um, but some people, that's up to you if you want to cover it or not to keep some of that heat in there and uh, the aromas. But when it steeps, it does smell really good. And like I said, uh, this thing will beep when it's ready. You can hear it boiling right now, so I hope you can hear me just fine. Um, but yeah, tea bags, if you really want good quality, then I'd recommend getting loose leaf. It's a little bit more expensive. Not much more expensive, but it is a little bit more expensive. It is a little bit more of a process to uh, make it because you're gonna have um, an extra tool, which I'll show you in another video if you guys would like. Uh, it's called an infuser, or um, you, know, you can use a, that's a kind of a new modern way, and that's just the way I do it, but you can also do stove top uh, and have like a little metallic strainer in there. Uh, which is uh, basically, some people will call that an infuser, but uh, yeah, so uh, I'll get into that. Uh, I'm more, I'm less traditional than I am a more modern uh, on the tea drinker part, so, you know, uh, if you guys are very traditional, then don't hate on me. <laughs> That's just the way I do it. You can do it wherever you like. Uh, so, yeah, uh, well, one other one I want to talk about is uh, this right here. Um, this is uh, another tea bag. This is by Twinnings. This is the Bedtime Blend. And the only reason I mention this is because this is probably what a lot of you guys are familiar with, uh, you know, besides green tea, is this is just a plain herbal tea. It has chamomile in here, so a lot of people drink this when they're sick um, or, you know, before bed or it helps with their digestion. Um, so a lot of the older folks will drink this uh, this kind of tea as long as, as well with green tea. But, uh, yeah, I... I you know, it's all good to me. I mean, whatever, you, that's the good thing about tea. It's like uh, food. You know, there's so many different varieties and so many different flavors and tastes, and you can cater it and you can mix loose leaves together or tea bags even. I've done that. Uh, take, uh, you know, some white tea here and some, uh, you know, uh, black tea and mix it together and just see what it tastes like. So the water's done right here. I'm going to take this off and it's steaming. If you wanted to, you could leave it set for about a minute just to, you know, let it kind of come down from the boil, uh, or the, the, the rolling now boil, I'll call it, uh, but you don't want to boil uh, water for white tea uh, if you can help it because uh, that's, it's too hot, and if you do boil it, like I said, let it set for at least a minute before you actually pour it on there. So all I'm going to do now is take an electric kettle, I'm going to pour the water on top of the tea bag, and uh, you'll probably see the, the water change a little bit, it's not going to be as green as green tea. Um, like pure green tea because this is white tea, so it's gonna be almost like a look like a watery look, but you can tell there's a little bit of a hint of a yellowness to it. Um, and I don't know if you can see the tea bag, uh, the tea bag puffed up a little bit on the top right there. And you're gonna want to let this sit in there for about five minutes. Um, and if you had a string, you could, you know, you'll see people uh, kind of uh, steep it by, you know, letting it fall and picking it back up, and then just, just kind of. Uh, doing it that way, but really it doesn't really matter. As long as the water, the heat is getting to the leaves, it doesn't matter. It's all going to steep just fine. So uh, as it's going, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but uh, it is turning a little bit more of a yellow hue. 
So uh, let that steep for about five minutes. Some people put a, they set up a timer. I actually have one, um, but I don't really use it that often. I've just kind of done it so long now that I kind of know. Um, and also you can, you can take a sip or whatever, you know, and uh, you can tell, uh, you can stop it whenever it tastes good to you. So this is just kind of your basics um, of getting in on tea. These are just tea bags. This is the lowest form of uh, drinking tea and the simplest way of drinking tea. And actually, the funny thing is, it's it's the most prominent in America to drink tea like this, which is absolutely fine because it works out really, really well. And um, let me let me know, you guys, if you want to see more of, uh, of teas. I have a bunch of loose leaf teas. I have some... Uh, what I believe to be some high quality loose leaf teas that I had to actually order from China. And, um, and that was kind of the uh, birthplace of tea to begin with. And a uh, fun little fact is tea is uh, the oldest drink um, known to man. And um, I mean, besides water, of course, but the, I don't know if you said that drink is more of a necessity. Um, and there's a lot, a lot of history behind tea and it's really neat to uh, go back and see um, you know how it all formed and came together um, but nowadays you have tea not only in China of course you have in Japan and India and, and uh, Kenya and, and uh, there's even some in the United States here that grow um, although it's not I've heard it's not very uh, good and it's really expensive and uh, it's pretty limited but uh, you know there you go it, it can grow in multiple places but Generally, you want to have tea grow in the mountains, um, away from uh, insects, and um, you know you, you get you get some rain, but you don't let it freeze. So it's very it's kind of a temperamental plant, and um, based on its locations. But uh, I, I really like it. So now you can see that you know it's very yellow. Um, there you go. And this is the honey lemon ginseng, so it's going to have a little bit of that honey lemon flavor. And you can smell, right now you can smell the lemon. It's very, very prominent in the smell. And when you taste it, you're going to definitely taste a hint of that lemon, or the honey, sorry. And, uh, and that's what I would say. I would say more. it tastes more like honey and it smells more like lemon, if that makes any sense. So uh, you don't taste the lemon so much as you do the honey in the drink. And um, that's pretty much all you need. To, all you guys need to know. If you have any questions on any of this stuff, like the electric kettle or the tea bags, uh, let me know, um, and uh, I will do more videos like this and shorter videos. This one just happens to be long because this is kind of the first introduction video to uh, teas and to get you guys up to speed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and um, take it easy. And uh, yeah, cheers, guys.